some Hershey's, maybe you can go and work it off. Oh, sure. A little workout. And what better way to do it than with Squash? Denise is out live with more. Denise? Lighter. Good morning, Eddie and Caitlin. We're here with Faraz Hussein at River City. This is the new squash court. It's only been open two months. And Faraz? That's correct. You are a teacher here as well as a wonderful player. Thank you. Talk about the sport. Talk about the evolution of this. Good. Well, squash is an indoor racket sport. So it's the same principle as tennis and racquetball, where you have the indoor racket sport played inside four balls. And the main thing in squash is you have to hit the ball against the front wall. And after that, it can only bounce once before your opponent can hit the ball next. So it's a lot of fitness, a lot of running around, a lot of chasing the ball down the walls and stuff. As you've noticed with me this morning. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a smaller ball than right. the actual racket ball. Yes. It's just tougher to work with guys, too. It's not, it's not easy at all. Yes. It's a very uh, dead ball. So it doesn't bounce very much. If you drop it, it won't bounce. Yeah, at look all. at that. So wherever the ball goes, you have to go after it. That's the main thing in squash. You can't wait for the ball to come to you because it won't come to you. It'll kind of die wherever it goes. You have to chase the ball down, go after it all the time, and constantly try and defend yourself from attack. And talk about the club. You have a club and you travel around Illinois. This yeah. is the only squash club in Central Illinois. That's right? oh, we have um, one court in Peoria, which is this court right here. And we have uh, six courts in Champaign, Illinois, at the University of Illinois okay. in Urbana-Champaign. Yes. And there are two courts in the Quad City. So every two weeks or so, we tra travel back and forth and play different players in different cities. One in cities. Chicago, too, right? Oh, 40 courts in Chicago. 45 courts or so in Chicago. But there's one that you play at in Chicago? Uh, Chicago, we have many courts. We play in different courts whenever we go there. Okay, do you find that playing this, what do you think about this court? As opposed it's to pretty good. Yeah. It's not the regulation size court, but it's very close to, it, to international regulation size. It's one foot narrower than an international squash court. So it's almost regulation size, but one foot narrower in the width. But the length is correct, and the lines are all correct. I understand that it started in England, in prison, actually. Yes, yes. It's basically a British game, and the British invented the game 150 years ago, and they spread the game to wherever they colonized. So it spread to Pakistan, it spread to a lot of South Asian countries, it spread to Egypt, it spread to Far East. But now squash is played all over the world. It's a very international sport, and it's very popular in the East Coast, USA. A lot of universities there have varsity, varsity squash teams. And do you have competitions here at River City? Oh, uh, we have tournaments, we have leagues, and we have uh, challenge court days. And I'm, I'm always happy to give lessons to anybody who wants to Free learn. Free lessons if Free you're lessons, a member, yeah. too. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And you're a great teacher. You're already helping me. Thank you. Because it's a, I need to start with a larger size racket as opposed to your racket. Right, this is a smaller head. It's more difficult to control the ball with a smaller head. A bigger head has, is easier to control and gives you more power. So it's better for a beginner, a bigger head racket. Which I am, and which you will see shortly. Yeah. It is, what time is it there? 5.50 on the morning mix, and we'll be back to play some squat. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. okay, and the backswing. Now, you were showing me the backswing before. I don't see many using this. What is the real way to get in there and dig in? You have to oh, you have to lunge to get, lunge. To get low. If the ball is okay. very low, you have to lunge down and okay. stretch. That's right. the best way to get the ball back up high. And in squash, you want to hit the ball high to get the ball to bounce in the back corners. You want to hit it high. Yeah, if, you want, if the ball bounces in the back corners, it's almost uh -huh. a winner. Okay, they're not, they're not really hitting as hard as you were hitting before right now, right? Not so hard, no. But they're, I mean, they're kind of beginner players. Okay. So they're just learning the game and All they're right. just trying to get the rally going. Okay. So how many games, but, you know, what, what is it, 10 points? Uh, it's uh, 9 points. 9 points. And you okay. have to serve to win the point. You have to serve to win the yeah. point. Yeah. And if you, if you don't, if the ah, other... Now they're hitting hard. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead, sorry. I mean, in squash, if the ball is loose, you kind of attack it with a very hard shot. Uh -huh. If the ball is very good, yes. you kind of defend with a very high shot. So it's a lot of attacking and defending in squash, depending on what kind of shot you have time to play. Okay. So if it's a very loose ball, you kind of attack it, hit it, a very, hit it very hard. Mm -hmm. If it's a very good shot, you kind of defend by hitting it high and deep. So now they're, really, they're aiming in this, what they're trying to do is actually hit in between, once you serve it, you serve it high yes. over the red line. Yes. Okay, it has to, then what happens? You can't go below this line, the bottom line here, right? Right, every shot in squash has to be above that bottom red line. You has to be above the bottom right. red line. Right, you can't see it right now, but it's the bottom red line and you can't, you can't kill the ball by hitting it too low because if it hits the, if it goes below that bottom red line, it's automatically the other person's point. It's automatically the other yes. person's point. Okay, they're, now they're switching again. Okay, so he's preparing, and that's what you were saying to do before. You actually, once the ball 
travels, once the person you know, that, who's serving hits it, right? Mm -hmm. Your opponent should be prepared. Right, always have your racket back. Always have your racket, racket back. I mean, in tennis, you're taught to kind of keep the racket in front of you. Mm -hmm. In a squash, the game is very fast, very fast-paced game. So you always want the racket back, ready for your shot, ready to volley or play your shot. And how do you prepare? I mean, this is, as you know, I run five miles a day, six miles a day, and this is tough. Yes, I mean, yes. it just, it's not about endurance, it's about right. speed. But how do you prepare for this game? Uh, of being basically, playing squash to get fit. Mm -hmm. I mean, the more squash you play, the more fit you'll get, the more your muscles will get tuned to that kind of running and jumping and lunging. Does it help to lift weights, to develop that power? Uh, not at our level. Maybe at, at the advanced and the professional levels, it helps to have that extra strength. But at our level, just get there, play squash. But also, it also helps to be flexible. So if you, if you, take, if you take yoga or those kind of classes. Yoga, actually, that makes sense. Who's winning? Uh, it is now? Okay. okay. So yoga will Yoga help. will help you in okay. squash because it makes you more flexible, more supple. And if you are, um, the weights are not so important because uh -huh. it's, not more, it's not really a power game. Right. It's more of a finesse and touch game, especially at the, at the better, higher levels. And keep your eye on the ball. That's key, Caitlin. Right, Back to you guys. Thanks, Denise. You know, that looks a lot, that looks like a lot of fun. I've played racquetball before, yeah. I've played tennis, no. never played squash. It doesn't look fun. No, because racquetball is, mm -hmm. it, it wears you out enough, but that one you have to run that, that oh, no that way. Much more? No, no, I, it's all you. you, you do it, I'll come watch. Hmm. I, I, I prefer to be a viewer as opposed to a uh, participant. Ah, I see, he's scared. He's scared of the competition, <laughs> well, he can't absolutely. handle it. Right. Absolutely, Huh. I play like a girl. Yeah, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm offended, I'm not sure. Coming up in today's health link, did you know he plan? What astonishes me is how much energy she has in the she morning. She still has it. <laughs> you know, here we are sitting here eating, kind of kicking back in between stories. Yeah, and she's Denise going nuts. Just, she'll be, she'll be on the energy. professional squash circuit soon, I'm sure. Could be her new calling, perhaps. Exactly, could be. You never know. All right. Well, coming up. Okay, and you said great day to play squash. Yeah. 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 Can't beat that. You no. know, that's what Denise is doing. Yes, you she know? is. No, oh, gee, she's thanks. out there. All right. What you doing there, Denise? Oh, I'm working on my back swing, actually. Okay, we're around. We're doing what is called what? The rest? Uh, Volley, right? You're hitting straight, straight drives. Straight drives? Straight drives. Excellent. Okay. So we're hitting straight drives, and now we're actually going to play. I'm telling you guys, this is a workout and a half. You said you would burn up a thousand calories in an hour playing That's this true. Game? That's correct. Yes. And so let's go ahead and work on a game now. Okay. And in the game, you want to, uh, after you win the point, you alternate your sides. Okay. And just focus on hitting the ball high so it bounces deep in the back corners. Deep in the back corners. If you get the ball in the back corner, it's almost a guaranteed winner for you. Really? Because it's very hard to dig the ball out of the corners. It's also hard to dig the ball out of the side of the right. wall. Right. If too. the ball comes very close to the side wall, it's called a tight shot. Yeah. And if it's very tight, it's very hard to scrape it off the side wall. Yes. So get the ball deep and tight, and you'll be getting a lot of points off there. Okay, and so far, guys, no accidents, but here we go. Okay. All right, so we have to go to our assigned squares here, right? Right, I'll serve to you. You okay. can stand anywhere you want to. I can? I didn't yeah, know If that. you're receiving the serve, you can if stand anywhere. If you're receiving anywhere. it, you're right. good deal. Okay. So, so it's going to be nine? So nine points. Nine points. And only server can, can get the points. Okay, we actually haven't played the game yet. We've just been hitting We've been the practicing around, yeah, warming up. Around. So this will be okay. the real deal. Okay. Nice. Good shot. Good. Nice shot. That's mine. Oh, sorry, sorry. Good rally. Good rally. Good shot. Ah, uh, see, you were hitting the ball right back to me. See, I was standing in the middle of the court. You should have hit the ball right back to that corner, and that would have put put me away from the center of the court, back in the corners. So just aim for the deep corner. Okay. So hit high and hit it close to the sidewall and go back to the corner. Okay. Don't hit to the middle because that's where I'll be standing. Oh, 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 good shot. All right. <laughs> Squash in a submarine. <laughs> that's kind of what it sounds like. Oh, in a submarine? Yeah, what, have you ever been into those courts? I mean, everything yeah, just I know, echoes. echoes, very echoes. Much so. Now, why don't you tell the audience what you thought would be funny? What? Well, I thought it'd be funny if, like, if the squash ball hit Bill Marshall like right square Our in the cameraman head. who's yeah. out there filming. Big Daddy, that'd be kind of I'm funny. sure he'd be pretty pleased I don't want him to be that. hurt, but oh. I, it would oh, make for a great video. You know, a little like, bit. You know. if, if it hit the lens, not him. Not the lens. The lens is like a $50,000 camera. No, 
<laughs> he goes to the doctor, you know, he gets a big knot on his head. That makes for good television, <laughs> anyway. 